change. Right. So scientific experiments at times require a controlled environment and temperature plays a vital role in them as well. With a mission to carry out further analysis on an atom, NASA has moved beyond the Earth for the analysis. An extremely cold atmosphere was needed and the ideal place was only found in outer space at the International Space Station. NASA's Cold Atom Laboratory is a reality now and the credit goes to the NASA team which was led by Indian-American scientist Anita Sengupta. NASA says the Cold Atom Laboratory at the International Space Station produces clouds of atoms that are chilled to about one ten billionth of a degree above absolute zero. This happens to be much colder than the average temperature of deep space. At such temperatures, atoms have almost no motion, thus allowing scientists to study fundamental behavior and quantum characteristics and of the atom body. This is impossible to achieve at a temperature even slightly higher. Now, we on spoke with the mind at the helm of uh, affairs, the Indian-American scientist Anita Gupta. She shared some really interesting insights with us. And we started by asking her if you're the main brain behind NASA's Cold Atom Laboratory project, how was the experience like to lead a project for five years in an otherwise male-dominated sector? Well, one of the reasons why I wanted to be the project manager is because there aren't that many female project managers. So for me, um, having more women in leadership roles is important to making sure that you know we eventually achieve gender parity 50-50 in the future. So it was a very good learning experience and leadership experience for me. Well, it, it, the, the really interesting thing is that it's something that no one has ever done before. So this is the first time that we're actually gonna create a Bose-Einstein condensate in space um, and demonstrate the technique of laser cooling in space. So being able to design and develop that facility from scratch was a very unique engineering um, accomplishment and journey for me as an individual. And what exactly is the real purpose behind creating this ultra-chilling laboratory in outer space? Oh, well, so um, the, what's really interesting about Bose-Einstein condensate is it's another state of matter, but it's only a state of matter that you can achieve in a very dilute gas um, on getting to incredibly cold temperatures just above absolute zero. So when you use this technique called laser cooling in a microgravity environment, you can actually get to colder temperatures and you can observe how this new state of matter behaves over a longer period of time. So we're actually able to um, access um, the nature of an atom in a way that we can't do here on Earth in a 1G environment. And why does the coldest spot have to be in space? Um, it's not that it's necessarily in space, it's that it's in a gravity-free environment. Uh, so it's that it's in a gravity-free environment. So um, the experiment is on the International Space Station. And so the International Space Station is a laboratory for microgravity studies. And so that's the reason why we're doing it up there. Um, like you could do it on a free-flying spacecraft, you could do it on a drop tower on Earth, but it's to do it in a gravity-free environment because that allows you to get to colder temperatures and it allows the Bose-Einstein condensate to expand over a period of many seconds. Whereas if you do that in an Earth-based laboratory, you only get to see it expand over a few milliseconds. Okay, and can you help us understand uh, how cold it'll get? Can you give us uh, an analogy maybe to help us understand? Oh, so absolute zero is basically, you know, um, an impossibility. It's where all motion stops, where all um, energy is basically removed from the system. So you can never actually get to that point. But we're getting down to 100 times 10 to the minus 12 Kelvin, so 100 picokelvin. And that's about a billion times colder than the temperature of space. So it's, it's kind of hard to imagine how cold that is because space is already at a temperature of around 4 Kelvin. So this is a billion times colder than the temperature of space. And what that means is that the motion of the atoms has essentially uh, come to a stop. All right, Ms. Sengupta, thank you for joining us and uh, giving us that uh, extremely uh, pointed perspective on what really goes on with the <laughs>